Hey guys, in this video we're going to learn to compare fractions and find out which fraction is bigger. For example, if we had two-fifths and three-tenths and we were asked which is bigger, two-fifths or three-tenths. And what we first do is we make the denominators the same by using equivalent fractions. Compare the numerators is the last step, and that's how we know which fraction is bigger. If you don't know what equivalent fractions are, make sure to check out the link in the description and go watch that video first. So we have two fifths or three tenths, and we have to make the denominators the same. The way we do that, we uh, look for the lowest common factor, the, or the lowest common denominator, sorry, um, and I see it as 10. So what we need to do is we need to, for example, multiply the, the 5 by 2. So we have to multiply the, the numerator by 2 as well. Whatever we do to the bottom, we must do to the top. So once we do that, we multiply the numerator by 2. What we get is 2 twos are 4, and 2 fives are 10. Now, this here is the same as this. It's got the same denominator as 3 on 10, so we can compare it. So now if we look at it, which is bigger, 4 tenths or 3 tenths? And we know that 2 fifths is actually bigger than 3 tenths, because the numerator here, 4, is bigger than, than the 3. Let's look at one more example. Say if we had, let's do a few, 3, 4, one half and five eighths. Which one is bigger? Or let's say place the following fractions in order from the least to the greatest. So first we have to convert all of them to have the lowest common denominator. Eight is um, the lowest common denominator here. So we usually look at the biggest um, denominator and we try to see if we can convert all of these or these other two fractions to have the same denominator. So what we, go, we can do for the case of 3 fourths, we can go, um, what's what, what's something at times by 4 to give us 8, which is 2, 4 twos are 8, so we multiply this by 2, and what's something that's, so whatever, actually, so whatever we do to the bottom, we multiply it 4 by 2, we have to do to the top, we also have to multiply that 3 by 2, 2 threes are 6, so we get 6 on 8. In the case of the half, we have to multiply the 2 by uh, a number to get 8, which is 4. 2 fours are 8. And whatever, because we multiplied the bottom by 4, we have to multiply the top by 4. 1 four is a 4. So 6 on 8 is 3 on 4. 1 on 2 is 4 on 8. And then we just add that to the line. And then we compare the numerators, 6, 4, and 5, which is bigger. So the biggest is... 6 on 8, so 3 on 4, would for example be 3 on 4, then we have 5 on 8, and finally 1 on 2. So 3 on 4, 5 on 8, and 1 on 2. Those are our fractions from biggest to the smallest. As we can see here, 4 on 8, which is 1 on 2, is the smallest while 6 on 8, which is 3 on 4, is the biggest. That's how it's done. If this video helped you out, make sure to hit the like button, check out my other videos, or leave a comment if you have any questions at all. Thank you for watching.